YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Professor Rich and welcome back to the club channel. Like always, thank you for clicking on the video and thank you for the support. As you see, I'm rocking the merch. Check out the website, check out the Patreon, book a consultation with your boy if you need any help. But I'm just going to dive straight to the topic for today. And I'm going to cover a couple different topics within this topic. I'm going to go over holding masculine frame, protecting your energy, and being in control. All right. So essentially, holding masculine frame is just holding, holding your masculinity. All right. Always thinking from a logical standpoint instead of thinking from an emotional standpoint. Because the moment you get your emotions involved is the moment that you lose control. All right. Um, I actually have this picture or this painting behind me that a local artist made. Shout out to Craig. Um, as you see, it's it's a person with its mouth open and it's its heart and its mind. And that actually fits into this video perfectly because, like I said, you always want to be thinking from a, a, a logical standpoint rather than an emotional standpoint. As a man and as a person, you... You find freedom once you realize you have a lot more control over yourself than you realize. You know what I mean? If you can't master... Everyone should be aiming to master their mind before anything else. Because if you can't master your mind, you won't be able to master anything. Your mind's a lot more powerful than you give it credit for. And when it, when it comes to protecting your energy and being aware of always thinking from a logical standpoint, you have to realize that... Not everything deserves a reaction, all right? Not everything is worth your energy. You have to be, you have to add more value to what you put your energy into. Like for me, I say this all the time, I treat my 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 energy and my time like, like it's money because it is, you know what I mean? You have to pay me to argue, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you trying to get a reaction out of me, it's not worth it. Because that's what you want. You guys have to realize that misery wants company. Misery loves company. And when when you're dealing with like a woman, for example, when she's constantly like beat testing you, she's trying to get a re reaction out of you, she's, she's trying to make you mad, that's what she wants. That's what she wants. She's unconsciously testing to see how in control of you how in control of yourself you are and if you are a man worth leading, if you are a man that is easily manipulated. Once you give people power and you you easily react to situations, they see how you they can push your buttons. You, you should not let anyone have that much power over you. When it comes to protecting your energy, you, you should only be putting energy into things that are of value to you. Don't don't worry about the people trying to knock you off your square. That's trying to get a reaction out of you. You you really just have to find that control. And when when it comes to protecting your energy, there's there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, you can practice semen retention. That's your sexual energy. You can practice like meditation. That's your mental energy. You can transmute the the negative energy into something positive, as in a, a physical activity, um, like working out, doing something like that. That's all this practicing your control. Because a lot of dudes out here, they fail the first initial test, man. The first initial test, and that's her trying to see how you built she's trying to see what what gets under your skin how she can manipulate you and that's all just giving the other person fuel and opening them up to your weaknesses for you to be exploited bro you 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 can't be out here just look it's, it's going to take some time it's going to take some practice but Always remain calm, cool, and collected. Even if you have to pretend, you know what I mean? Eventually, if you keep on holding that frame, it gets easier in different aspects of your life. 
if you saw my video on how to hold masculine frame, like my webinar on it, um, the alpha versus beta male, like argument, bro. A 40 year old man was on the internet on my live, bro, calling me all types of names. I mean, out of emotion. Trying to do anything under the sun to get a reaction out of me, saying F me, using the N word, like doing anything he possibly can. How did I react, bro? I acted like I didn't care because I really didn't because it wasn't worth my time. He wasn't important enough. You, you don't matter enough to me for me to sit there and argue with you on the internet. I'll let you look like a dummy. You know what I mean, I'll let you, I'll let you exploit yourself and your feminine energy onto the internet, but I'm not, bro. Keep that energy over there, man. Keep it over there, bro. I don't want any parts of it. And I told him I loved him and went on with my day. And after that, he was even more mad because he wasn't able to get a reaction out of me. The best thing to do when someone is yelling at you and trying to get a reaction out of you is just let them argue with themselves. Let them burn themselves out. Don't don't feed into it because energy, energy is contagious. I mean, it can't be created or destroyed, only transferred. So what they're trying to do is they're either trying to get a reaction out of you to exploit your weakness, or they're trying to transfer that negative energy to you. And if you're not aware, if you easily manipulate it by, by words or by, I don't know, man, whatever, you're going to react every single time. But once you're more conscious of what people are trying to do, your energy, the value that you hold on your energy and your time, you're not going to be... You're not gonna be easily. You're not gonna easily give into that kind of stuff. And in life, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like life is going to throw you tests. It's all about how you react. It's all about what you do after the fact is what defines you as a man. And especially if you're gonna be on the internet, dog, you want to be around people who have contradicting, like, um. They don't believe exactly what you believe in, bro. You have to be ready for that. I, dog, the internet is a terrible place. You you might not be built for this. You know what I mean, you really might not. You might not be, like, someone said something racist on my, my comment section the other day, bro. I let it brush it off my chin, bro. I told him, thank you for watching. You, some people aren't even aware how sensitive they are to things. And for me, over over the years, bro, I just built tough skin. And I I just know the value I place on myself, I, I, the value I place on my time, what I, what I willingly give energy to and what I don't willingly give energy to. Because you, you have a choice at the end of the day. I mean, and being in control is freedom. Because... You are you are conscious and you are aware of what you want to react to, how you want to react to something, what you want to do in every aspect of your life. And being conscious of that freedom is liberating because you won't be so reactive all the time. You'll just be chill, man. And like I said, it's going to take some practice. It's going to take some time. You might have to get used to it. You might have to put yourself in a, a uncomfortable situation. It might not feel like right because like in your gut you want to say something. But sometimes you just have to let other people be great. Don't even like certain people. It's not even worth trying to explain your point of view because they're so one sided to something they, they're not even open minded enough to see where you're coming from. So it's going to be a waste of time. Know what is going to be worth explaining to and what's not worth explaining something to. And move accordingly. Stop trying to change people's minds. Stop trying to stop trying to bring yourself down to their level. They don't deserve that. You know what I mean, and I say this all the time. If you are a king, you have to act like a king. If you are a queen, you have to act like a queen all the time. No matter if someone calls you the N-word, no matter if someone um, disrespects your beliefs, if someone calls you out your name, act like a king, dog. Don't ever bring yourself down to a peasant's level, all right? 
So I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the content, hit my DMs, all that good stuff. I mean, much love. I appreciate you guys. Peace.